Hey buddy, welcome back to the Valley's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday evening. We are in the middle of a fantastic September stretch that is going to continue for the next several days with a couple of caveats, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But before we get to the weather, let's talk a little astronomy-ish geeks uh, this evening. Have you seen something like this in the sky lately? This, of course, the Starlink Satellite Array. Uh, that occasionally has been visible of late. Now, there's a lot of these Starlink satellites. Uh, here's one snapshot of the way the Earth was covered by these uh, Starlink satellites this afternoon. Uh, this is a, an initiative by the company SpaceX uh, to provide satellite-based high-speed internet globally. Uh, this is available to consumers right now. It's not free or anything, um, but uh, its goal is to make sure that if you're on a boat in the middle of the Pacific or wherever you are across the world, that you would have access theoretically to some satellite-based uh, high-speed internet. Um, so they've been launching these uh, at regular intervals and somewhat irregular intervals for a while now. Uh, sometimes these launches get delayed or canceled. Sometimes they happen without much notice. Um, the, the deal with these Spacelink satellites is, these uh, Starlink satellite uh, uh, arrays, I should say, um, they are only visible within an hour or two after sunset and an hour or two before sunrise because these reflect sunlight. That's how we see them. There's no artificial lights on these satellites. They reflect sunlight, and that's how they show up. And when they are first deployed in low Earth orbit, um, they're kind of linked together for a while. They're not going to spend all their life linked together, but for a while they're kind of linked together, and that's why they appear as kind of like a chain of lights sometimes when one of these fresh arrays um, gets uh, deployed into low Earth orbit. We had a nice uh, pass of these last evening. We're going to have another good chance this evening, and I think Friday evening will be another opportunity to uh, check these out before we have some cloud issues over the weekend. So we're going to look for this around 8.30 to 8.35. Now, this isn't quite like the International Space Station where we can pinpoint it down to the minute exactly when this is going to fly overhead. Uh, this is a little more of a crapshoot, but generally speaking, uh, what we want to do here is look in the western sky starting at around 8.35. It'll be visible for five minutes or so, disappearing probably a handful of minutes later in the east sky. But this is going to be a high, bright pass, uh, 77 degrees above the horizon. Don't forget, straight up is 90 degrees. Uh, above the horizon. So it's a pretty high pass. It's a pretty bright pass and it's worth uh, checking out on this beautiful, beautiful evening. So be sure and do that. I told you we would uh, talk about the long range forecast some in this video and we're going to do that this evening. The uh, Climate Prediction Center, which is part of NOAA, part of the National Weather Service, they put out their monthly and seasonal outlooks um, around this time of the month, their initial outlook for the following month around this time of the month, then they finalize it right at the very end of the month. So we did get the update uh, for October from, from them today. And the basic idea here is that October looks warmer than average um, across our region. Now, I've, I've speculated on weather for weather geeks uh, a few times uh, over the last few weeks that October's in emerging strong El Ninos can run on the chilly side. and. Uh, there are exceptions to that, of course, and this year looks to be an exception. You know, I was a couple of weeks ago, it looked like it would probably turn out that way, but there's been a distinct shift in the modeling over the last week or so towards warmer ideas as we get closer to the month of October. So I generally like this uh, forecast from CPC today in terms of temperatures. In terms of precipitation, uh, it's likely to be a little more active certainly than September, which is probably going to go in the record books as one of the driest on record because we have very few chances of rain, it looks like, for the next eight or nine days. Um, October should be at least closer to average in terms of precipitation, and the middle of October in particular could be pretty active in parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes, the Corn Belt. Whether that active zone gets this far to the east, uh, that remains to be seen. But uh, I think at the very least, we'll see a more typical October in terms of rainfall than we've seen in the month of September. Well, speaking of rainfall, here's going to be a prolific rain producer for some parts of the eastern U.S. over the next few days. This is a, uh, a low-pressure system that we've been talking about this week that we've been saying, you know, may or may not become a tropical system. Odds have increased in the last 24 hours that this will indeed become a system that has enough tropical characteristics that they will name it. It would be Ophelia. Um, if it gets a name, and it probably will later on tonight into tomorrow morning. It'll probably make landfall Saturday as a tropical storm around the outer banks of North Carolina and then produce uh, some windy, rainy, squally conditions up towards Virginia Beach, uh, the Delmarva Peninsula, the Jersey Shore, places like that. For us in eastern Ohio and western PA, 
We're not expecting uh, raindrops from this. Maybe, maybe as nearby as, say, Altoona, Johnstown, maybe even Pittsburgh, we might get grazed by a touch of rain later Saturday into Saturday night. But I, I really think in our area, we're too far west to see anything more than maybe a sprinkle out of this. We will see a veil of clouds, it looks like. But yeah, Richmond, Virginia Beach, the Outer Banks, Baltimore, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, there's going to be a, a good amount of rain over the next few days. But we won't need the wet weather gear locally for Friday evening football. We've had great weather for high school football so far this season. This week is no exception. Once again, dry and comfortable. Lower 70s to start, lower 60s towards the end of the fourth quarters, Friday evening. So all systems go for a great day on Friday. We'll notice a canopy of high clouds trying to push in from the east as we go towards sunset. In parts of western PA especially, this may make for a very colorful sunset Friday evening with that setting sun in the western sky illuminating from underneath clouds on the eastern horizon, so that's something we'll be watching out for. I think we'll see a canopy of high clouds at times into the day Saturday. It, the sky might even try to look kind of threatening at times on Saturday, but I'd be surprised if we saw much more than a sprinkle out of this on Saturday into Saturday night, and I, I do suspect the clouds are going to try to thin again before Sunday is through. It's going to be kind of a, a clammy cool, damp weekend to our east, though. State College, Reading, Allentown, Philadelphia, New York City, up to Boston, places like that. Not so great. For us, though, we're expecting seasonable temperatures this weekend. We'll do 72 both days with temperatures in the low 50s during the nighttime hours. And yeah, uh, there's just not a lot coming our way in terms of any sort of substantial weather system. We took out rain chances for Tuesday today. Uh, we've reserved them for Wednesday, and even that looks pretty minuscule at this point. You know, we've got a 20% chance of showers in our Wednesday forecast. Not going to be surprised if in the next day or two we take those shower chances out of next week's forecast. It just looks like another very quiet stretch. And, you know, looking at the record books, we're sitting at uh, 0 .35, 0 0.35 uh, inches of rain at the airport so far this September. It's very possible we're going to end up under a half an inch for the entire month, which would put us in the top three or four driest Septembers on record. Hope you have a great rest of your Thursday night. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget, no weather geeks on Fridays during high school football when the weather's quiet, as it has been. So I'll see you right back here on Monday.